Hey, welcome back, students. Uh, this is the second video in the predicting products of a chemical reaction series. So I'm just going to go ahead and write the problem that we've got, and we're just going to dive right in and get this problem solved. Okay? So let me go ahead and do that for you right now. Okay, so here's our problem. We have calcium nitrate with aluminum carbonate, and we got to figure out how we actually predict this. What are we going to get on the right-hand side? Okay, so over here on this right-hand side uh, is where we're going. We've got to figure this out. And so in order for us to kind of figure this out, we have to go, go through and just begin the process that we have already on our sheet. We begin by first identifying the cation and the anion for each of the compounds. We've got two reactants on the left-hand side, so just go ahead and find those. And so here we go. We know that the calcium is going to be positive because it's the first atom, so the first atom is always positive. Okay. The nitrate is going to be a minus sign. The aluminum is going to be positive, and the carbonate is going to be a minus. And so, first step, identify the cation anion. Second step, identify the actual specific charge associated with each of these. When we look at um, calcium, we know that calcium is a plus two charge, so we'll change this to a plus two. The nitrate is a minus one charge, and we know that this is going to be a neutral compound because the, the little two to the right of the nitrate tells us I have two nitrates here. So that means the total charge there is a minus two. And it makes sense because calcium has a plus two charge, so that means the overall compound is neutral. The aluminum is a plus three, and so it makes sense that I'm going to need three carbonates because carbonate has a charge of minus two. And so we'll write that here as a two. And let me go ahead and put that there, a two. And so now we know our parts, the positive and the negative. And so we know that this calcium here is going to come and combine with the negative side of the second compound and the aluminum, which is a cation in the second compound, will come and combine with the anion of the first compound. Going and writing now our, our reactions, these little lines just help us kind of keep things visually in place. So we know that the first one will start with the calcium since it's the first cation. The calcium is going to combine with the carbonate. And so we have a CO3 and then it will also combine and form for the second cation, the aluminum, we'll go ahead and combine with the nitrate. Okay, so at this point, what we need to do at this point now is just to make sure that we transfer over the charges, and we'll do that now. And so the calcium is going to have a plus two. And let me go ahead and write that better for us. Okay, so let's see if I can do that here like this, two. And then the carbonate is going to have a minus two charge. And the aluminum on the other side for the second compound has a positive three, and the nitrate has a minus one charge. And so now it's time to actually balance, and or not balance, but rather to ask if the compounds are neutral on the right side of the predicted part. And so the calcium plus two, carbonate minus two, that's a neutral compound. Now we turn our attention to the aluminum nitrate. Aluminum has a charge of plus three, the nitrate has a charge of minus one. So here, I can do employ the crisscross method, which I'm going to take the three, and I'm going to bring it over to the outside. I need to, I do need to add parentheses, but I'll bring the three down here, and the one comes down here. And since we don't really write a number one for uh, our compounds, we don't need to write that there. And I'm going to go ahead and rewrite this uh, just so it's a little clean and free of all the charges, so we can actually get into the next step because all our products are now neutral. And so the next step for us is going to do uh, to be to balance this uh, reaction. And so that's what we'll do next. Okay, so here's the, the rewritten equation. So we notice that all the compounds on either side are all neutral. Now all we need to do is to balance. So to do that, I'll go ahead and just divide it left and right, just for convenience sake. And we'll begin on the left. And the first atom is calcium. So we've got one calcium, one calcium. The nitrates, I've got two nitrates on the left. I've got three nitrates on the right. So in order to resolve this, since the one on the right is actually odd, I'm going to go ahead and add another compound of AlNO3 just to make sure that we've got an even number. And now we have six nitrates. And so I'm going to need six nitrates on the left. And I do that by adding another calcium nitrate. And so there's going to be four of them. And I add one more calcium nitrate, and that'll give me the total of six that I need. Okay, and let me just make sure I get this end a little bit better so it looks neater. And so there's our six nitrates. Now, turn our attention to the calcium. I've got three calciums on the right, and so I'm going to have to come over here and add three calciums on the left. 
excuse me, I had three calciums on the left, I need to have three on the right. So I'm going to add another calcium carbonate. That's two calciums. One more calcium carbonate is the three calciums that I need. So, so far my calciums are balanced, my nitrates are balanced. I need to turn my attention now to the aluminum, and I've got two aluminums on the left. I see that here, and two aluminums on the right, and so we're good there. Now I turn my attention to the carbonates, which is the last unit, and I've got three of those carbonates. And if I count them carefully here on the right, I've got one, two, and three. So this equation now is balanced. All I need to do at this point is to go through and count the actual compounds uh, that are here, or the groups. And so I've got one group here, two groups, three groups, so that means that my coefficient number here is going to be a three. Go to the aluminum carbonates, I've only got one, so my coefficient here is a one. Going now over to the right side, I've got one, two, three calcium carbonates, so my coefficient is a three, and the aluminum nitrates at the very end, I've got two groups of those, so my coefficient is two. And so here is the second part of the predicting uh, the products of a chemical reaction. Hopefully you found this very helpful and useful. Go ahead and subscribe, and we will see you next time.